as we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, and it's the Packers who are out in front in the second quarter. Romeo Dobbs, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to Foxborough to check on the Patriots at home at Gillette Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. A touchdown on the ground there for James Robinson. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Kyle Phillips. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Bears. And even though they trail, they've had success running the football. Over 100 yards rushing as a team in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. From the six. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Now a first down throw, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they're going to get this up to midfield. couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here from the 50 here's fields He's got a man here. It's Montgomery. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Fields now to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much trouble is left on those tires. They certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And it'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there.
So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Credit that sack to Travis Jones. Trump's not to point fingers, but how much of this goes on the shoulders of the offensive line? Well, look at the six sacks last week. That's the fourth in this game. Definitely the bulk of it does go on the offensive line. That's what they're tasked with doing, keeping their quarterback upright and clean in the pocket. But I think they have to look at, okay, are we bringing in extra people? Is the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick enough? There are a few other factors they'd have to look at to try and help out. But you're exactly right. It starts with the O-line. Another try after the first down sack. Fields. And a hookup over the middle to Pryor. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down to throw his fields. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Frank Reich here on fourth down is ready to try for three. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And they have regained the lead. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Straight ahead running. Here's Samuels. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Jackson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. It's taken to the 26. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Back to Montgomery on second down. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, it's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. From the 24, Fields looks for the out route and it's complete to Komet. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet 
when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Jarnell Mooney, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are able to extend their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, R-A-C? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the 31, Jackson, open man is Duvernay. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. It's the gain of five. Brings up second and five at the From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Trying to get the first with Samuels. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 16. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Third down, they go Montgomery. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 84 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw, Fields. And this one is gonna be off the mark, too far out in front. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Fields. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And he'll be tackled after a gain of four. Still three yards short. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As he'll punt it away for the 
second time. This is away at a very good kick, angled for the sidelines. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. On second down, here's the option. And some room to run now. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free and off he goes. And defensively, you're going to have some guys with hands on hips looking to the heavens right now. You've got a fairly clean shot at the quarterback here, but he's able to worm his way out of that initial contact. And not only that, he's able to hot foot it downfield for good yardage. And Jackson going to run again. Shifts by him. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one. But this is first and ten right now. They'll hand it off now to Samuels. Down to about the 37. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 26. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Jackson, options out left. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Ravens go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And it's incomplete, but a flag is down here, so hang on. Let's see what we've got. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking, the like, the two-by-two-inch ones that you can buy yeah, in yeah. Yeah. addition to the pencil. And those last for a, a long time, no doubt. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and one. One blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now a throw here, hauled in, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play, and this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now it's Fields. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 40 now on second down. Fields. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 34-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And off comes to Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight. Fields. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Fields. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Fields. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again. Fields. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Ravens ready to take over. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. Yeah, this is great work by a quarterback here. He's doing anything he can to avoid taking a square hit. I admire the way he worked his way through the initial contact and then continued downfield for good yardage. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. Yeah, a lot of people call it that's a type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing.
Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Jackson going to keep it running right. And he stopped immediately there. Now Jackson on second down. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. On third down, they'll try and run for it on the... Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give them seven there on the first down carry. Back to Montgomery on second down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up the key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Fields on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Personal foul. Basement. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Operating from the gun, Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. second oh no he lost the football wow that ball is not free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover and this is incomplete oh, it looked like a sure six points but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. And his kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier mess. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by eight, 2.21, the time left. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Now Jackson on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. It's 
They'll run for it with Samuels. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. First down now with that clock rolling. Throwing. Jackson. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. Connecting with Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Jackson to throw. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Jackson. His throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Jackson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Jackson. He's going to try and go deep again. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bears have just about sewn up this football game. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Well, the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And this one all over, but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one and it led them to victory. So for Chicago, it's a dream start. Two wins in two early road games. And they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll try to get back.